What's up everybody? I got a dad with me today. We're here in Sarasota and we are going to explore the Sarasota area and see what dad thinks about Sarasota now. Going up looking at these sandhill cranes. They're everywhere in Sarasota. They're beautiful big creatures. They're everywhere out here. That guy's from New York and that guy's from New York. Dude, this is my dream car. This has always been my dream car. Look underneath it before I buy it. Pretty sure I'm gonna buy it. Thank you, man. That was big slide too. If you need to get it out of the way or something. The what? The big. All right. All right, cool. All right. What's leaking? It's condensation. Crazy. Just getting some lunch. I'm gonna go back to the dealership and do the paperwork. Really excited. This is my dream car. I'm driving my freaking dream car, bro. <laughs> Convertible bands. Are you kidding me, bro? This thing is slick. Oh, I don't deserve this, man. I'm too much of a bad person for this, bro. I don't deserve this. I really don't. This is classy. That right there ain't. No. Just playing. And then this guy's from New York. I literally bought this thing. Absolutely most insane thing I've ever bought. You gotta put Mercedes Benz is. You gotta use 93. All right, guys, so there it is. My new Mercedes Benz E320. Um, I got that and I got Katie. What do you think about my new purchase? And then, uh, oh, just door. Why isn't it closing? There it goes. The crazy thing about Mercedes Benz is to close it, you just stick the key in and then it locks both sides and it locks whatever that was. That's got to get it. So there it is, guys. I'll give you guys a tour of it in the daytime. Um, my favorite car, favorite color, almost my favorite year. 94 is not my favorite year, but it's pretty close. I would have wanted 95 or 96, but. Uh, it's a 95? Yeah. It's not a 94? Okay, so yeah, this is my dream car. Now, there's a few little things they're going to do. They're going to paint the rim. They're going to paint that for me. And it's missing the center account. So the interior is absolutely gorgeous. But I don't want to spoil it all for this video. I want you guys to subscribe, and I'll show you guys what the interior looks like. Um, but uh, it looks, it's it's nice, you know. But uh, we'll have to do a, that on another video. Um, I have to get the button for the top. Uh, it is a brand new top, but they have to, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, it's my dream car, and um, somehow I have it, and I'm super excited. And Katie's excited about it as well. I'm seeing the comments, all I'm seeing the comments already. Y'all think I really didn't buy those Mercedes Benz? <laughs> no, we bought it. I got that with me today. We're just gonna go cruise to the beach. We we're gonna do it yesterday, but we got so caught up with the car purchase, it took up the whole day. So today will be the first time that Dad sees the beaches up here. Well, actually, no, I took him up here like three or four months ago. Maybe four or five months ago, I took him to uh, to Anna Maria Island, but we're going to go back. But uh, downtown Bradenton, this car drives like butter, man. It's like like knife through butter, man. It's just, this thing is so smooth. I've never had a car that drives as smoothly as this. This thing is just unbelievably smooth, man. It's like very quiet. Uh, and the shocks aren't really, like it can improve a whole lot. These shocks are in bad shape. For being what it is if i were to put new shocks and new suspension i'm still waiting for the trim piece for the center so ignore that um the dealership's going to get me all that in and once we get that piece we'll get the switches and we'll be able to drop the top because it is convertible we haven't been able to drop the top yet but um uh, it's a beautiful car it really is and it's just uh the, the coolest and you get looks everywhere you go people are looking at it i mean this thing is just uh elegant it's like super windy today, guys. Look at this. It's like blowing like crazy. Look at this sailboat was a victim of. Yes, everybody. I bought the sickest Mercedes Benz you'll ever see in your life. I know it's a little windy today, so excuse me for the wind noise in the background. I'm gonna give you guys a walk around video to show you guys my W24. That's right. Oh, there's a squirrel there. He came to see my bins. Fancy, ain't it? 
Ain't it the fanciest bands you ever seen? So excuse me for the wind noise, guys, but we are by the beach and it is windy. The squirrel came to check it out. The squirrel's like, look at that bands right there. Yes, guys, this has been my dream car. And I actually had a Mercedes Benz that was one year older than this. This is a 95. I had a 96 and um, it was the same exact color, but it was a four door. It was not a convertible. And that's the car I first met Katie in. So you're practically looking at the car. What the crap are you doing? I can't believe the squirrel got that close. They'll eat you in Alabama. What the crap? I can't believe those cars got that this close. Is, other than the fact it's a convertible, the car that I met Katie in was this color, almost this year. And yeah, pretty much uh, lots of memories for me and Katie in a car just like this, just not convertible. Um, now, the dealership that I got it from is in Sarasota, and they're still waiting for a few parts. The car wasn't quite ready to be sold. But I told them, I'm taking it with me because I'm taking it. So they weren't quite ready to sell it to me. I'll show you guys what shape it it's is in. It's the passenger seat. Beautiful Come condition. Right? Come here. Hey, buddy, why are you so close? Come here. Have people been feeding you? Have people been feeding you when they're not supposed to? Why are you so close to me? You like the Benz? You like, oh, it's nodding its head. <laughs> it's like nodding its head. Why are you over here? I don't have anything for you, buddy. I don't have any food. You like the bins? Can you check out the rims? Yeah. There it is, guys. Beautiful bins. Not sure why this girl's hanging out over here. The interior is absolutely mint as well. Now, I am missing that piece right there, the dealership that I bought it from. The car wasn't really ready to be sold. The, that part is ordered, so it's coming in from Turkey, I believe. So we'll, we're waiting for that trim piece to come in. And once that trim piece come in, it has the two switches so we can drop the top. It is a new top, by the way. They just installed this top. So it's a brand new top. 105,000 miles, which is actually a lot for this vehicle. No dash crack. Again, we're missing that piece right there. It's coming in soon. Driver's seat has not a single tear. I think they reupholstered this vehicle at some point. Back seats are the way you would expect them to look. Yeah. Yeah, they did replace the steering wheel. I guess in the future, I'll make a more detailed video about this car. I think what he's looking for is the warmth from the engine. I think he's just really cold. He's a beach, he's an island squirrel. He's not used to the heat. I think what the squirrel's really looking for may not be food as much as heat. I think it's just not used to the cold weather. And uh, the car's nice and warm underneath, so it's looking. Hey, buddy, come here. Why are you so close to me? Oh, he's gonna jump on my iPhone. He's gonna jump on my iPhone. What the crap is looking at the iPhone? I think he's just not used to the cold weather and the car feels nice and warm. The hood is the famous M104 six in line engine. Now they didn't even prepare this car, or clean it for me. The car, like I said, wasn't ready to be sold and I kind of forced them to let me take the car. I told them, Hey dude, I'll buy the car, but I got to drive it home today. They didn't even finish all the paperwork. And so I said, if you want to sell this car, I'll write you a check today, but I'm taking it with me. It's not staying here in this dealership. The headlights are surprisingly nice. Um, and uh, it's nice and warm. A little bit of power steering fluid oil, but there's it's, it's dry. Like, literally all the engine compartments are dry. I might have to replace this stuff here in the future. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably do some suspension work. I don't know what this cord is, but I don't like the way it looks. I mean, it's not like the best... The beauty of the beach is that even on a windy, cold day, it's still gorgeous. That car looks incredible, man. Really, one of the biggest draws about the beaches here is that they're free. Windy!
Love it. And the fact that you don't have to pay to park is incredible. Not bad. So we'll do some uh, quirks and features about this car later. I'll do another more detailed video uh, showing you guys the car with the top down and all of its little interesting quirks and features, as Doug DeMuro would say. Um, you know, I grew up in Naples, Florida, and in Naples, Florida, you saw a lot of these. Uh, this is the, you know, along these Florida beach communities, this is this is the thing to have. So eventually, we'll get some more videos showing you guys uh, what these vehicles look like and a uh, more detailed look. I'm just letting you guys know we got it on this video. All right, guys, so we're going to let Dad drive it now for the first time. He's going to drive it all the way back um, on the beach. Let's do it. It's got a little noise in the front. It might be the fan clutch or something. You can hear it kind of doing like a... It's got a little noise somewhere in here. Maybe the air conditioning fan, I'm not sure. It's like a... Got one little noise somewhere in the front. Look at this fan clutch or somewhere in there you can hear it. Fan's working. Hey, it's a fan clutch. I'm not sure. But if anybody knows what it is, we'll have to get that checked out. That's that driving it for the first time. Okay, I'm going to see you. Yes, I'm going to see you. But I'm going to see you in the front so you can see you. the windshield is on this car it's like perfect for a corner video yeah. super clear there's one ship in there right up there's a ship this guy's from new york this is uh st armand circle here i got that damn truck right there Próxima salida a la derecha y adelante. That's what you call old money right there. That's what you call old money right there. Please don't call it a convertible. It's a cabriolet. The Cabernet. I got Dad driving the 95 Cabriolet E320 W124, made in Germany. The Cabriolet. Cabriolet. This song was on. The Britney song was on. Turn my head back. Now, all the crap would you put a mobile home there, right next to the beach? The air conditioner is a little bit confusing. You got low fan, high fan. The O is to turn it off. That's heater right there, EC, I believe. Uh, that's a temperature control dial. And this is how you want the air to flow. And if you want the air to recirculate, you press that right there. Most resounding thing about this car, though, is just how it glides through the road. It, it's just, uh, it's just like, it feels like it's just gliding through the road. No me estés maltratando, Mercedes. Ven, así. No, 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 no me no, estés maltratando, Mercedes. Ven. Él va como en su casa aquí. Yo vivo en un lugar bueno, así. Y con todo el billete que tengo, soy un tipo humilde, así. <risa> no, no pienso porque tengo billete que no soy un tipo, un tipo humilde así un tipo que se le se saca la humildad así resaca o resalta resalta me resaca la humildad así la humildad la, la humedad que tengo acá adentro estoy sudando y la honestidad so I look like a Russian to you papi you're not gonna be rushing me it's always a guy in a work van always in a rush to get somewhere 
bro, you only want Mercedes Benz, you're not gonna be rushing me, man. No, me voy a estar agitando porque anda, I'm late to work, no importa a mí que you working, papi. I am on vacation right now, papi. Para que me esté molestando, que anda apurado, que anda. I don't care if you're late to work. I'm not late to work. I don't even have. How can I be late to work when I don't have a job? The question is, how can I be late to work when I don't have a job? And then this guy behind me in a work van has a real job, so he's trying to get me to drive fast while me and Poppy are on vacation right now. <laughs> it's unbelievable, Poppy. It's unbelievable. People that have real jobs are unbelievable, bro. Bro, you're going to crash into somebody, man. This car's expensive. Never disrespect me looking like you just got off a shrimp boat or something, man. I mean, like, you look like you just got off a shrimp boat or something, man. <laughs> thing on Alaska Frontier just down got there. got off an Alaskan crab boat off that thing with them boots. Why do you have to get off that boat? Uh-huh. Homer looking like he just got off an Alaskan shrimp boat or something down there. Lobster hunting down there, that TV show or something, man. Uh-huh. No me estés rayando las llantas, así, que está nueva. No, porque yo he visto que tú, ya con 80 años que tú tienes arriba, manejas un poquito más, para que sepa. Usted ya tiene 80 años, ya tú estás ciego, Siri. Me vas a chocar, me sé, ven. Let's put some mobile homes right next to the beach. A splendid idea, bro. And keep your eyes on the road. Let's put some mobile homes right on the water and see what happens. What happened, man? Behind. Why are you in a rush? I just noticed that he liked my Facebook post while driving. I get a notification. Luis liked your Facebook post. And I'm like, how are you going to like my post while you're driving, bro? Aunque llegue primero que tú, andas en un cajón. Y tú andas en un mesedón. Que apuro tú tienes, el tipo, deja que el tipo en el cajón, ahora vas a pasarle al tipo en el cajón. Ya 